Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about very important topic that is attending interviews for an SAP Ariba consultant role. So for whatever reason you want to change your organization or you want to opt for Ariba consultant junior role it is very important for you to have a proper strategy before you start you know attending the interviews first and foremost if you are uh, planning to change your job or if you're somebody who is applying for a new job you're a fresher you want to opt for a job the first thing what you need to do is to read the job description because the interviewer out there is first interested to know how much you are aware of their requirement. No interviewer out there is expecting you to know 100% about the product, whether it can be any product of Ariba, or sorry, any module of Ariba or any product of SAP. There is no such expectation out there. They want to know how sincere and how eager you are to do the job so the first thing is for you to reach the job read the job description and it is very important for you to remember the key points whether you you are looking for a job description whether in platforms like linkedin or naukri or monster wherever it is just read the job description and remember the key points within the job description you know on which you can talk on which you know something to talk so it is very important this step and uh, second step some most of the times it is ignored is know about the organization even before you start preparing ariba concepts of ariba it is very important for you to know what kind of organization how the organization have evolved anything what you can get on net it is very much recommended for you to know about the organization. It is not expected for you to talk about organization in depth, but still they would ask you how much you know about their organization. And third thing, very important thing is technical skills. So in Ariba, when you read the job description itself, they would clearly most of the job descriptions they would mention what kind of modules they are planning to implement so first thing if you get a chance to get hold of what modules they are planning to implement it is very much recommended for you to at least go back to sap documentation you can go to help.sap.com where you can get all the free documentation of Ariba and just read the basics of it and understand the basic flows or you can go to the sites like YouTube where you can get a basic it is most of the time it is possible for you to get the basics or you can attend trainings or boot camps out there which will give you complete end-to-end -end knowledge on the technicality of Ariba. So in Ariba, as you know, there are two streams, there are upstream, there is downstream. If you can convince that at least you are good in one, one part, you will get the job. And fourth point, very important is your behavior matters. Uh, please don't sit in interview as if you are just sitting and chatting with your friend. It is expected for you to so it is expected for you to behave and talk and dress in certain way when you are in, in an interview. It can be too professional, but still it works rather than if it's too casual, it might seem you're not interested. So your behavior, the way you talk, your language, everything matters, even for a technical role. Uh, the fifth thing, very important how you can cross an interview is a case study. Case study is nothing but you can apply for a support role or maintenance role, not only for implementation type of a role, even then 
you can sit with your colleagues and collect couple of issues or support tickets or how they have done implementation some case studies like for every module for you to talk always start with the basics so that any kind of question with interviewers asks you can always try to correlate to like for example um, in an slp interviewer can ask you a question on you know how the administ how the files are loaded how administration works and how it is different from other modules but you can talk about the knowledge you have if you know the basics so always like i said in every module get to know different issues from your colleagues support tickets sit with them get to know the gist write it down so that when the time comes in the interview you will have something to talk and the next thing is challenges in every interviewer uh, will ask you what are the toughest problems you have solved because in ariba there are two types of works number one you have to sit and solve the tickets and the other one is you have to implement the solution so if you have to solve the tickets especially so in to implement as well the interviewer is very much interested to know what kind of challenges you have faced in your past and now and let's say if you are applying for ariba it's it's your brand new you haven't worked on anything you can of course talk about your education and how you have what how how much how difficult was it what is your motivation behind taking up the course or maybe you can talk about the the trainings or boot camps you have attended but something you need to talk so that you need you have to appear as if you are interested and the next thing very important is a strategy don't sit an interview uh, without preparing in a way which makes sense without having a proper approach because interview is all about convincing your interviewer so it is very important for you to have a road map where you can you know just sit back and connect so if you have to get through the interview for every module this so this is like this is like the key for every module get to know the basics get to know few tickets or issues that you have worked on so that you when the interviewer asks a question and you are not aware of you can easily talk about the things that you know uh next one is the sources to prepare you have complete documentation of ariba on internet but of course you cannot at the end of the day read the complete documentation but you can still attend couple of boot camps you know one week or two week boot camps or you can of course contact our institute we are we do provide such boot camps a one week or two week boot camps where we support the consultants in preparing for the interviews uh, where you know how to handle the interview how to talk to the your consultant and all of that and final takeaways i all like i said i always recommend for you to know the basics and know about issues that may be re- recollect rewind or talk to your colleagues or get to know through documentation through internet what are the different issues that can possibly happen for every module so that when the interviewer asks a question you can always connect back so these are the couple of points that you need to remember in sts academy as well we provide um interview support we train new consultant or experienced consultants in terms of uh, dealing with the interviews if you need any sort of any help or a support please do reach out to us thank you